Hello everyone, this is Walter Fate, and I'm back to bring you my first weekday video of the week. I thought I'd just cover Reddit that happened again for the moment. First off, I'd like to make it clear that all of these stories actually happen, so no doubting them, okay? So here we are, Reddit shit that didn't happen 9. Let's get into it. So I was going out to this restaurant with a group of college peeps, and one girl tagged along. She was beautiful and smart, and as we were getting into the cab, I held the door open for her and bowed my head, and she didn't even say thank you. I slammed the door on her fingers, and she was cussing like mad at me and nearly crying. Sorry, but if you can't show proper manners and thank a gentleman, then you don't deserve my kindness. I won't be going out with those guys again, that's for sure. I am so glad this has no likes on it. Like, I would say to never behave this way, but if you do happen to hurt someone for not thanking you, posting it online for everyone to see might not be the best idea. Might get you made fun of in a YouTube video? Well, let's move on. I've been acting gay for a whole three months. Now one of my girlfriends invited me to a sleepover, and all her friends are flashing each other tits, sucking them. L-M-A-O-W. Is that what happens at a sleepover with girls? I have to admit, I was never tempted to act gay so I could get invited to one. I totally missed out. I could have seen more tits. One time I vomited a ton of blood, but I didn't want to be dramatic and call an ambulance. So I tried to walk to the hospital, but I ended up passing out in a KFC into a mop bucket. And I woke up to a lady handing me a chicken wing. And after that I wanted death, so I never ended up going to the hospital. Huh, so what did you end up doing? Spreading tuberculosis, I'm guessing? What a story. It's a good thing they didn't want to be dramatic. I legit just had some random girl message me asking if she could tag me in a relationship status because she thinks I'm super hot. And she wants to make her ex jealous. Um, how about no LMAO? And the incels say the dating market's impossible for men. Yeah, I think this guy might be a little full of shit. Up next, we have something really special. Okay, so today I was on the bus with another trans guy, and we were talking about how hard it is to get testosterone. The waiting list, the price, all the doctors you have to go to, that kind of stuff. Except we were calling it tea, like you do when you're both closeted and in public. Then suddenly, the elderly lady sitting behind us was like, Young men, either I'm crazy or you both have never heard of supermarkets. They have shelves full of tea there. Do you need directions to one? To which my buddy starts to explain, because why not? Well, you see, we're both trans and... The lady didn't wait for him to finish his sentence. Oh no, I don't mind that at all. Now, do you want to know how to get to a place that sells tea? I'm actually headed there right now. We let her take us to the supermarket. We let her show us excitedly where the tea was. We both bought loads. Oh god, come on. I can't really comment on how expensive and hard to get testosterone is. I've got plenty of it, trust me. But this is someone thinking about how they call it tea and how funny it would be if someone really misinterpreted it somehow. But who? Well, an old lady, obviously. Who else would think you were discussing your woes about not being able to find Earl Grey? It's fucking absurd. My buddy shaves his head in the summer. As do I, because it's fucking hot. And this black dude said, Yo, why you shave your head? Is you racist? And my buddy was like, What if I was? Why would it matter? And the dude left and showed up with three friends. Buddy flashed his Glock as they approached and they scattered. Neither one of us are even close to racist, but people are always looking to start trouble based on nothing. And I hate to be that guy, but I had someone try to call me out for being racist outside a punk show when I was in the army because my head was shaved. I thought it was pretty funny, but my friend Jake told him to fuck off. Of course, this guy says he's nowhere near racist, but he sure portrayed his uh, black dude as a bit of a caricature. All in all, I'd say this story not only didn't happen, but actually made him look pretty stupid to post it. My college experience in one anecdote. I said, take guns away from domestic abusers. That means almost half a police force. My professor and classmates were like, whoa, cite yourself, that sounds widely inaccurate. Then someone looked up the statistics and they were all like, oh. Okay, fair enough, I guess, but that was your entire college experience? 
The literal most interesting thing that happened going to college? Or was every day you doing that, but with a different statistic? Let's check out something else weird. Also, I met a millionaire. Possibly billionaire? Her family owns the Mall of America, and she made a $100 million donation to my brother's possible future school. Today, because she donated that much money to my brother's possible future school. And she was at an event they held that I went to today. Anyways, she introduced herself with her first and last name and her title. And I didn't know who she was, and I was like, okay, I guess that's just how we're introducing ourselves today. And I went, um, okay, I'm Alexander Blank, and I'm Blank's brother. And I didn't realize she was doing that, because I was supposed to realize who she was until an hour later. And looking back, introducing myself the exact same way is the biggest unintentional power move. I checked, and her net worth is over a billion dollars. I really, unintentionally, did that. This guy seems really proud of his brother and his possible future school. Don't worry, I'm sure she didn't think it was a power move. He probably just seemed ignorant, but we don't actually have to worship billionaires. Because this is America. Recently, I tried to commit suicide by jumping off a bridge. My boyfriend saved me by jumping in after me and pulling me out. When I woke up in the hospital, he was in a hospital bed next to mine as he had suffered a minor concussion. He looked at me, smiled, and said, I promised I'd always catch you. His unconditional love gives me hope. People, these uh, fake suicide stories aren't really that cute. A lot of people have lost people to suicide. I'm not really the type to be offended by this. But it probably annoys the shit out of some people. Oh shit, here's a good one. Today in the park I was walking my dog and there was this other girl walking her poodle. She was really pretty and very very nice. Our dogs played for a little while and then her poodle squatted and pooped and when she leaned down to pick it up a dude started yelling obscenities about how he'd like to put his dick in her ass. She got up and literally threw the bag of warm poop at him. It hit him in the face. I got to witness that. This might be the best day of my life. You know, that would be pretty fun to see, but there's no way it happened. Also, if seeing that made it the best day of her life, I guess she's never had anything actually good happen to her. People exaggerate too much on the internet. While shopping in Target, I heard a girl say, Boys are so dumb. To which I replied, Say it louder for the girls in the back. To which she screamed, Boys are dumb! To which other customers replied with a slow clap. Best target experience yet. Damn it, people, this isn't complicated. Like, I've been alive for a while, and I have yet to see everyone start clapping at a store or on the bus. Fair to say that it doesn't actually happen, I think. And boys are dumb is such a brave and profound statement. Of course I'd have to give that a clap. Oh, this next one has a title. Gas Station. Okay, so I was at a gas station waiting in the car with my mom, right? And this kid opposite from me in the car was yelling at the gas tank? And he started mumbling stuff and it got real dark. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Satan has gas. Sacrifice. Someone's gonna die. Someone's dead. Sacrifice. Hashtag real. Hashtag event. Hashtag Satan. Hashtag satanic. Hashtag story time. Hashtag not clickbait. I mostly included that one for the hashtags because otherwise I have no idea what they're on about. And with that, I think we're about done for today. I'd like to thank all my viewers. This has been a really good month for my channel, and I appreciate all the support. If you're new here and enjoyed this content, I would encourage you to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out, and there will be lots more where this came from. I'd also like to thank my patrons real quick. I will do so in more detail sometime this weekend. Oh, and here's some fan art from HODD, who's a mod on my Discord. I will try to always feature fan art. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I also want to thank Reddit, people who make up stories, and 4 Loco Grape in particular. Have a great night, everyone.